I'm here in New York City for REIT Week 2011, NARIT's Investor Forum. I'm joined by John Brady, Managing Director and Head of the U.S. Real Estate Group with RBC Capital Markets. So John, I'd like to look at the second half of 2011. What do you think are, in your opinion, some of the big issues REITs are going to be facing? In my mind, some of the REITs will have to sort of think about how to balance the capital availability with what could be, uh, you know, slow down in operating trends. I think that's one of the, the bigger bigger items. Uh, I think you'll see as well, um, again, depending on the, the asset class, some more um, maybe M&A discussions. Um, I think not the level of take privates, which were all debt funded in the, uh, you know, in the mid 2000s, but more some potential strategic mergers. Uh, so I think you'll see a little bit of that. So people have to think, think that through. Right. Uh, picking up on, on M&A, obviously that was uh, big news in the first half of the year with the A&B Prologis deal and, and some other transactions we saw. Are there any sectors in particular that, that you think are maybe more prime for, for future, future deals? Um, yeah. One interesting thing about real estate is, is the, you don't have the synergies that you have in other sectors, but in many cases real estate is um, uh, local and having a big national presence doesn't help. Um, that said, I would probably put the malls, you know, regional malls, high on the list because of the tenant uh, relationships. So I think to the extent there were more mergers in that space, I think that would be viewed favorably by the market and would give the REITs more um, uh, clout with tenants. So I'd say that would be one potential area. I, I do think industrial. I mean, as you saw with, with Pro Prologis, that that was one um, where they had a lot of synergies given the international makeup. I think you could see a little more of that in that sector. I think healthcare REITs as well, less f because of the synergies as much as because as they've got bigger and bigger and bigger, the only way to continue to grow is use their, um, uh, you know, attractively priced uh, commons. I think those are probably three areas if I had to rank them where they would uh, go. And the strong performance that, that REIT shares have turned in have definitely drawn the attention of investors here in the U.S., but also globally. Um, do you expect foreign investment in U.S. REITs to, to continue, pick up? What do you see there? I do, th I, I, I do expect that to continue. Um, RBC being a Canadian bank, we have a lot of Canadian pension funds and other Canadian investors that look at uh, the U.S. REIT market. Um, uh, so that's, that's one example. And then the Europeans have historically been very, very active, uh, particularly the Dutch pension funds. And I know um, even in uh, Japan today, there's been a number of uh, funds that are investing into the U.S. money managers uh, looking for a, you know, a way to play the U.S. markets. And with REITs, you get a good dividend yield uh, in a yield-starved environment that's been attracting interest. So I think that will continue. John, thank you very much for joining us. Sure. For more REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.